Sneaker car, ATL, you are here. My baby sister. My baby sister. Out here. See if we can spark a deal out this far. Yeah. 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 See if we can spark a deal. Super sauce out there. Got some light drip on. Got some light drip on. See if we can spark a deal. I wanna try to, I'ma jump right into the to the little trade-up challenge real quick. We're gonna see if we can spark that deal. Let's find a table that has a lot of inventory. Let's find a table that has a lot of inventory. I don't see any cool gray 11s. What's up my boy? Okay, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to do a trade-up challenge, so I'm trying to find a table that has a, a decent amount of inventory. So I'm, I'm trying to work out some deals real quick. Got a lot of smaller size. Got a lot of little ones too. Y'all got the best prices? My boy said they got the best prices. Okay, okay. Okay, is this, this is your buffet? Okay, um, what's the name of your, um, what's your, what's your IG? I, you, I know you got an IG or something, bro. You won't even use it, bro. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, okay. I see you got a heavy, heavy inventory though. Yeah, that'd be bad. I like these Supreme shirts. Supreme is fire. <laughs> Supreme is fire. Um, I got some DS stuff over here. What you got? I got some um, 
Naples Crocs. I got some um, bread lids, size 7Y, and I got some BS Polaroid SBs. So I'm trying to get a size 8 and some cool grays for my son for his birthday. So I'm trying to do like a trade up challenge. Y'all got no cool grades? Okay, okay, okay. Y'all got a lot. Though. <laughs> All right. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. Well, I mean, if you say it's still be us, these are crocs. And the rest of the stuff still in there. We try to work the deal out. We try to work the deal out. Bart Simpson SD Dunk Low. How y'all feel about these? How y'all feel about these? Let me know how y'all feel about these. Size eight, right here, eight and a half. I wear a nine. What y'all think about these? My honest opinion, these are clean. Definitely clean. Size eight and a half. 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 Size eight Baby sis out here sparking deals, man. <laughs> Baby sis out here sparking deals. She got two, two pairs of uh, ones, the lows and some mids, and 140. Can't beat that. Don't get no better than that. After trade, fit that sneaker time. 135. Oh, 135. Can't beat that. 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 So yes, we are here at Sleepercon ATL. Shots out all the people in the building. We got some tables with some vintage teams. Like that. This is the sneaker con booth. I had to kind of mute the music because they would have clapped me. But this is the sneaker con booth where they had all the sneaker con merch, t-shirts, stickers, bags, hats, etc., etc. Right across from the eBay booth. Attempting the trade up challenge. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little rough starting off to begin with. Um, a lot of boosts wasn't taking in trades or buying, they were just selling. But I didn't give up. I mean, stay consistent. Shouts out my boy the craze, pulled up with me, got that heat on his feet, the Salehi Benberry Crocs. Fire. So we back on the prowl, trying to continue to start this trade up challenge. So at this point, I basically still had the same kicks that I came into SneakerCon with, and I was trying to trade up to something in value or something, something equal value or something. You know, I was just trying to really spark some deals while I was in there. It was so so overwhelming so many booths so much inventory but i didn't give up 
stayed on it, stayed on the mission, continued the journey throughout the whole sneaker con. So we basically hit every single corner of sneaker con ATL. I actually had some fun. It was my first sneaker con. So it was dope. It was definitely dope. Um, a tad bit overwhelming. Um, it started to get packed. So when I got there, it was perfect timing. Um, it started from 12 to 7 p.m. So I left right at 6 o'clock. So I got out of there an hour before it closed. But they didn't have any tables that had... It was maybe one table that had a size 8 in the cool gray 11s. So... Yeah, man. So we tried. I know my, my oldest son wants a pair of cool gray 11s for his birthday. So I was in there basically trying to spark some deals, see what I could do. So the agenda was cool gray 11s or Panda Dunk Lows or Rebellionaires size 8s. So I couldn't really find any cool grays. I know that's what he really wants. So. Continue the journey to try to spark some type of deals, you know? It was a lot of vloggers in the building. It's a lot of um, YouTube content influencers and creators, content creators in the building. It was a lot going on, man. I seen some familiar faces, some, some familiar booths and stuff. It's honestly nice to run into some of these booths and these sneaker resellers that you see like on YouTube and stuff like that. It was it was honestly dope. I'm not sure what Buddy is doing while he's jumping up and down, but yeah. <laughs> it was definitely a dope experience. Probably one of the best sneaker shows on the planet. And I got a chance to run into Sneak City. So shouts out to good folks at Sneak City. And this is their booth. And they were buying sneakers. They were like one of the, maybe be maybe three booths were buying kicks. And Sneak City was one of them. So shouts out to good folks at Sneak City. Really good folks. Really good, humble, down to earth folks. So Sneak City traveled all the way from the West Coast. Humble folks, man. She's so cool down to earth. She says she got a hit on a Cam Kicks, though. <laughs> Shouts out Sneak City. Man, this booth had so much heat. Fragment Highs, J Balvin's. Got the Kanye's in there. Got the Yeezys when he was with Nike. Look at this Jordan pack, though. I think that was from, like, 96, if I'm not mistaken. Got the 7-Elevens with the special box. Got the 7-Eleven SB Dunk Lows with the special box. Fuego. So many booths has so... So, now I'm in the trading pits at SneakerCon. And I basically set up my own little area. So... I bought some things with me to trade off with to help me with this trade off challenge. So I bought the Polaroid SBs. I bought the Bread Mids, a size 7Y. And I bought the Staples Crocs to try to help me with some of this trading up. Baby sis actually hit some heat. She grabbed some heat there. So at this point, I kind of had to mute the mic. So I wouldn't get clapped from YouTube. YouTube picks up on everything. But I am trying to spark a deal. Shouts out to my camera girl. Baby sis did her thing. I had a lot of fun though, man. I had a lot of fun. I had tons of fun. We ain't gonna stop until we spark a deal. We ain't gonna stop until we spark a deal. I found one of my good friends from Facebook, my boy Emmanuel. Found his 
Booth. He is a local reseller out in the Gwinnett County area outside Atlanta. And he has his own sneaker boutique. And basically went over there, chopped it up with my boy. Um, he linked me up with the owner. So he was like, um, he basically... I told him that I was trying to do the Chariot Up Challenge for, for the YouTube channel, for some content. And he gave me this honest opinion. He said, man, we don't have anything cheap here. So they sell a lot of Chrome Heart and Louis Vuitton and Gucci, stuff like that. Everything's legit, but they have a lot of high-end stuff. So this is probably wasn't the, the actual booth I needed to be heading to. But... Um, yeah, man. Shouts out to the good folks over there, man. Because he told me I should have started off with a Supreme sticker and traded my way up versus starting off with a couple of hundred dollar pairs of shoes. <laughs> Which, yeah, he, he, he got a point there. He had a point, you know what I mean? But the mission is still on. We still continue with the trade up challenge. So on to the next booth. Still can't find no size eights in them cool gray 11s, man. But I was consistent. I wasn't going to give up. At this point, I was looking for Panda Dunk Lows, Rebellionaires, or cool gray 11s, man. It has so much heat there, bro. SB Dunk Low, size 9 men, Fuego. They had tons of heat at this booth. Shots out Monster Energy for the free drinks on the house. They were definitely good, cold and refreshed. Um, so I noticed I was at the Monster Energy booth and my boy 2Js was there. They had... Um, they had a barbershop there, which was pretty lit. It's pretty dope. Shouts out to the good folks at Monster Energy Booth. Shouts out to my boy 2J's. 2J's Kicks. Out here kicking it. Definitely a great experience. Definitely. Got to see some good people today. Spark some good deals. Still on the prowl for the trade up challenge. My boy just asked if I had a charger on me at SneakerCon. That's a banner, baby. That's ATL. A <laughs> Yo, so I ran into my good folks at Souls for Me at SneakerCon ATL. And they bought out a hefty, hefty stock of inventory, man. They had plenty of inventory. And they pretty much said they bought out everything that they couldn't sell at the store. So they didn't have a size 8 in the cool grays. This is the manager. And these are the, the other employees. And this is Han. This is my boy Han. He actually... Uh, sparked the deal with me last time I went inside the store. You know what I mean, so shouts out to him. He was trying to pump me some top three ones. I wasn't having it, <laughs> but shouts out to Souls for me, man. Always good linking up and seeing them guys. I appreciate y'all coming out today. You know what it is. Y'all been the brains of my whole operation today, y'all. <laughs> so you gonna do that? Um. Yeah, we can honestly do that. Yeah. Stories in here. I'm not picking nobody and I'm taking all of this home. So, yeah, I know. Y'all gonna get real mad at me in a second. So, if somebody wants to come up here, I gotta hear that energy real quick. Somebody can take it. Dude, dude, your voice is deeper than mine. God damn. All right, so look, dude, you, all you gotta do is tell me when you want this to start, right? When you say start, it's gonna be a bunch of random numbers just going fast. All you gotta do is tell the numbers to stop. Whatever it lands on, that's what you get out of here, okay? 
All right, cool. So just let me know when you're ready to go. Let's see. Let's see what the first one got. 19. Okay, you get to try again. Okay, okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. You go. This is a good thing. They told me I couldn't record them. They told me I couldn't record them. Oh yeah, we had the eBay booth. About to get these panels authenticated. I can't record it though. Baby sis getting her shoes off them today. Baby sis getting her pits off them today. Shouts out to the great folks.